I'm Danielle Kreuter with Denver 7 and we are now broadcasting out of our new TV station. After 70 years in Cap Hill, we are now the newest members of the Five Points neighborhood. As the Denver 7 team settles into our new home in the historic Five Points neighborhood, we spent the afternoon with some of the folks who know Five Points best. We're in the heart of Five Points. We're on the Welton Corridor. This is our extended family, and that's what I love about Welton Street. I know growing up here, when everything was, you know, black owned, everyone pretty much knew everybody. You know, it's just like you go down to the barbershop, you go to the shoe shine, you go to Minerva's Hats, you go to the gift store. So everyone was really well connected. Fatima Dickerson is in the midst of renovating the new location of the Welton Street Cafe, a five point staple. This is the original Welton Street Cafe. This is, um, we moved in here in July of 1999. There's been an incredible amount of change since the early days of one of Denver's oldest neighborhoods. When black people were moving to Denver, they weren't really only allowed to live in one neighborhood, which was the neighborhood that I'm sitting in right now, uh, the historic Five Points neighborhood. And so what you got was a concentration of um, not only African American people, but the culture and um, traditions that they brought along with them. That legacy is honored through cultural events like the Juneteenth celebration, murals paying tribute to neighborhood legends, and of course, the businesses. There's businesses like the one that we're sitting in, which is a black owned brewery, one of the few black owned breweries uh, in the state. Um, but you know, along with like the cultural piece of it, there's a rhythm to Five Points that I think is unique. The new Five Points is a is a new it's a new space. It's a new beginning. It's new opportunity. So when you see vacancies, you're like, there's potential here. There's potential over there. Potential that business owners hope city leaders will recognize. I sincerely believe this is Denver's most beautiful neighborhood. You come down and you understand that you're in a place that's different um, from the architecture to um, the people that you run into. This is really a, a, a destination that um, I believe our city needs to reprioritize and start to wrap its arms around. In five points, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7.